हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस ऑनलाइन वीडियो लेक्चर माय सेल्फ पवार एम ए फ्रॉम एस जी एम कॉलेज कराड आई एम कंडक्टिंग हियर दिस वीडियो लेक्चर्स अंडर द रयत ऑनलाइन स्कूल एजुकेशन दैट इज द रोज प्रोजेक्ट आई एम कंडक्टिंग हियर सेकेंड लेक्चर फ्रॉम बायोलॉजी द टॉपिक इज प्लांट ग्रोथ एंड मिनरल न्यूट्रिशन मोर्स टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सो लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव टू स्टडी द प्लांट ग्रोथ फेजेस ऑफ ग्रोथ कंडीशन फॉर ग्रोथ ग्रोथ रेट एंड टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रोथ फेजेस ऑफ ग्रोथ दीज आर द थ्री फेजेस ऑफ ग्रोथ सेल मैच्यूरेशन सेल इलांगेशन एंड सेल डिफरेंशिएशन मीन्स लैक फेज लॉक फेज एंड स्टेशनरी फेज so today's lecture we start next point is growth curve what is mean by growth curve a growth curve is an empirical model of evolution of a quantity over a time growth curves are widely used in biology for quantities such as population size or biomass individual body height or biomass for growth analysis value the measured property can be plotted on a graph as a function of time so growth curve is it is a graphic representation of the total growth against a time the growth curves shows the direction of some phenomenon over a time in the past or into the future or both growth curves are typically displayed on a set of axes the x axis is the time and the y axis shows the amount of growth there are three types of curves linear exponential and sigmoid curves so growth curves are used in a variety of applications from populations biology and ecology to finance and economics next arithmetic growth curves is a linear while geometric growth curve is exponential corresponding to three distinct phases growth growth rate differ in a lag phase growth rate is slow next in exponential means log phase growth rate is faster and reaches it maximum in stationary phase growth rate gradually slow downs we also the study the phases of the growth lag phase log phase and stationary phase these phases are study in this last lecture moves to the next slide when a graph of a rate of a growth against a time is plotted for three phases of growth a sigmoid curve is obtained it is a s shaped the picture shows exponential growth curve the x axis shows population size and y axis shows time the next picture shows sigmoid growth curve this is s shaped growth the x axis shows size weight of the organ and y axis shows the time this is a lag phase log phase and stationary phase the total time or period required for all phases to occur is called as a grand period of growth moves to the next slide next point is differentiation de differentiation and re differentiation this point is six point in this topic so first is differentiation it is maturation of cell derived from apical meristem of a root and shoot permanent changes in a structure and function of 
cell leading to maturation is called as a differentiation it means a permanent changes in structure of the cells during cell differentiation cell undergoes few to a major anatomical and physiological changes moves to the next slide example is parenchyma in hydrophytes develops large cisogenous or cisogenous interspaces for mechanical support beyond and aerations this is a parenchyma in hydrophytes or mechanical support in a hydrophytes next the maturation is at the cost of capacity to divide and redivide there is maturation cost is capacity to divide and redivide the cell moves to the next slide d differentiation first is differentiation and second one is d differentiation the living differentiated cell which has lost the capacity to divide may regain the same as per the need and divide next the permanent or mature cell undergoes de differentiation and becomes meristematic example is interfascicular cambium and cork cambium are formed from parenchyma cell between vascular bundles and inner most layer of cortex respectively what is mean by vascular bundles these are the xylem and phloem bunch in interfascicular cambium it is uh, also study the last lecture interfascicular cambium cork cambium or fascicular cambium in a lateral meristem these are the type of the meristem on the basis of the location moves to the next slide redifferentiation so the cells produced by de differentiation once again lost the capacity to divide and mature to perform specific function is it also called as a redifferentiation example is secondary xylem and secondary phloem are formed from de differentiated cambium present in the vascular bundle vascular bundles means bunch of the xylem and phloem moves to the next slide next point is the development we study the development in plants it refers to the order or progress changes in shape from a degree of complexity next it includes all the changes occurring in sequence from the germination of seed up to the senescence or death during life cycle of plants thus developments include growth morphogenesis maturation and senescence moves to the next slide the diagram shows flow chart of the development seed germination meristem cell division plasmatic growth cell elongation cell maturation mature cell senescence and death these are the flow chart of the development in plants moves to the next slide plasticity what is mean by plasticity it is the capacity of being molded formed modeled it is the ability of plant to form different kinds of structure that is to change in response to different environmental or internal stimuli in various phases of life in many plants juvenile stage and mature stage 
shows different forms of leaves in the same plant example heterophily in cotton coriander larkspur delphinium moves to the next slide the picture shows juvenile stage adult stage terrestrial habitat and water habitat it is a heterophily the environmental heterophily is shown by ranunculus flabellicis common name is buttercup means ranunculus it is a genus and flabellicis it is a species it is commonly called as a buttercup the intrinsic plasticity is found in coriander and cotton heterophily is exhibited in the same plant in a different growth phases or under different environmental conditions next point is growth hormones you also know the growth hormones it is auxin cytokinin gibberellin ethylene abscisic acid it is a growth hormones auxin is a part of cell growth and expansion and usually found in the part of the plant that are actively growing with the highest concentration in the primary stem auxins are most effective when parten with another hormone these are the growth hormones in plants so the term hormone was coined first by starling in 1906 in animal physiology the internal factors that influence growth are called growth hormones or growth regulators as they inhibit promote or modify the growth next growth promoters are auxins gibberellins and cytokinins these are the growth promoters moves to the next slide and growth inhibitors in plants are ethylene abscisic acid means aba all phytochrome phytohormones are growth regulators according to thymon and pincus 1948 plant hormones are organic substances produced naturally in higher plants affecting growth or other physiological functions at a site remote from its place of production and active in very minute optimum amount hormones are transported through phloem parenchyma philips in 1971 moves to the next slide first growth hormone it is the auxin auxin is equal to to grow its mean F W went in 1931 used this term first auxin was isolated from urine of person suffering from pellagra kogel and h smith 1931 in plants it is synthesized in growing tips or meristematic regions of a plants from where it is a transported to other plant parts the most common and important natural auxin is indol 3 acetic acid means iaa it is a indol 3 acetic acid the auxin the term first used in went in 1931 1931 and isolated from urine of a person suffering from pellagra next tryptophan 
is the primary precursor of indol acetic acid in plants moves to the next slide it is the first hormone to be discovered in the plants and is primarily responsible for cell elongation it shows polar transport bicipital transport in stem now synthetic oxin like iba indol butyric acid naa naphthalene acetic acid 24d phenoxy acetic acid etc are used it is a synthetic oxin moves to the next slide physiological effect and applications of oxins what is physiological effect and applications of oxin these are the primary effect is a cell enlargement in most of the higher plants growing apical bud inhibit the growth and a lateral bud this is called as a apical dominance oxin stimulates growth of stem and root next oxin induces multiplication of cell hence used in tissue culture experiments to produce callus the so oxin uh, induces multiplication of cell hence used in tissue culture technology the experiment of to produce a callus next it is stimulates formation of lateral and adventitious roots moves to the next slide the picture shows movement of oxins these are light directions they are, these are the seedlings and the stem grows faster on dark side they moves to the uh, light or dark directions and the concentration of increases oxin moves away from the light the stem grows towards the light and light causes destructions of the oxins these are seedlings moves to the light directions or uh, molecules oxin molecules and the shows cell elongation moves to the next slide these are marketed as synthetic herbicides example 24d 24 dichlorophenoxy acetic acid it kills dicot weeds without affecting monocot crop plants the seedless fruit like orange lemons grapes banana etc are produced by applications of oxins that is induced a parthenocorphy oxins promote cell divisions in cambium and also cause early differentiation of xylem and phloem moves to the next slide it promotes root elongation in low concentration and shooting at higher concentration it is also hastens early rooting in propagation by cutting foliar spray of naa naphthalene acetic acid and 24d induces flowering in litchi and pineapple likewise it prevents premature fruit drop in apples pear and orange organs oranges and also prevents formation of abscission layer moves to the next slide oxin plays a role in elongation of cell it is known to increase the rate of respiration so seedlings are move direction of light and the uh, produce a cell elongation and they increase the rate of respiration oxin break dormancy in seed and promote quick germinations and the oxins uh, also help the break the dormancy of seed and promote the quick germinations these are the role of oxins so in this lecture we study the 
ऑक्सीजेंस और डिफरेंशिएशन रीडिफरेंशिएशन डी डिफरेंशिएशन इट इज और ग्रोथ कर इट इज ऑल्सो स्टडीड इन दिस लेक्चर नाउ नेक्स्ट ग्रोथ हार्मोन द स्टडी इन दिस नेक्स्ट लेक्चर सो थैंक यू